Most people are pretty good at comparing prices, and these two trucks are priced pretty close together. But price is only part of the story. Price is what you pay. Value is what you get. And value is what counts. Here are two top-of-the-line half-ton pickup trucks. A C10 Chevy Fleetside Cheyenne Super and an F100 Ford Ranger XLT. Which one offers the greater value? We believe Chevrolet does, but you be the judge. First, let's compare payload capacity. Equipped for its maximum GVW of 6,000 pounds, Chevy's allowable payload of people, equipment, and cargo is 2,024 pounds. With its maximum GVW of 5,500 pounds, Ford's allowable payload is only 1,635 pounds, nearly 400 pounds less than Chevy's. Ordinarily, when you design a truck with a big payload capacity, you expect to sacrifice ride. Not so with Chevrolet, which has an outstanding ride. One reason is Chevrolet's massive girder beam front suspension, which effectively soaks up road shock and vibration. Ford depends on its twin I-beam design to do the same job. Chevy's front suspension not only looks more massive, it is. It has greater capacity than Ford's. These are the same two trucks in which we demonstrated load carrying capacity. Both trucks have been loaded to their maximum GVW. We'll put three ping pong balls in this glass. And three in this one. Now watch what happens when we drive over a stretch of rough test road at the GM Proving Ground. First, the Ford, 30 miles an hour. The ping pong balls are really dancing. Now, the Chevy. Same test road, same speed. But look at the difference in the behavior of the ping pong balls. They're hardly moving. That's because the wheels are taking most of the road shock with very little vibration transmitted up to the body of the truck. A better ride for Chevy and better treatment of fragile cargoes. Many of Chevy's greatest values can only be seen from underneath. So we've arranged this means of letting you see and compare those values that would otherwise be hidden. The first thing you notice is the way the front wheels of the Ford change camber as the weight is lifted off them. Chevy's do not. Now let's compare spring capacity because that too is important in a truck. At maximum rated GVW, Ford's front springs have a capacity of 2,500 pounds. Ours, 3,250. That's 750 pounds more. Ford's rear springs have a rated capacity of 3,300 pounds. Ours, 4,000. 700 pounds more. Ford's rear axle, 3,300 pounds. Ours, 3,750. 450 pounds more. No wonder we say Chevy never forgets it's a tough truck. But a good riding one, too. Our rear shock absorbers are staggered. That is, they're angled in opposite directions to help prevent annoying wheel hop. Fords are not. They're both angled in the same direction. Our shocks, front and rear, are shielded to keep out dust and dirt. Ford's front shocks are opened, unshielded, unprotected. Our muffler and tailpipe are aluminized to help prevent rust. Our exhaust pipe is laminated for strength. Ford's tailpipe is plain steel. Here's one of the most important values of all. For added strength and ruggedness, Chevy front fenders are constructed of three separate panels. The outer fender, the inner fender, and the inner liner. Ford has only the outer fender, no inner fender, and a partial inner liner. In the rear, as you can see through this plexiglass window, we have full inner fender liners. Ford has only partial inner fender liners, and 
here's the result. On the Ford, mud and slush are already collecting on the underside of the frame and chassis and inside the wheelhouse where it may cause rust. On the Chevy, the full inner fender liner is shielding the critical underbody areas to help prevent that buildup of rust producing mud and slush. All through and through, Chevrolet trucks have values other trucks just don't have. Under the Cheyenne Super's hood is a heavy, sound, insulating hood blanket. Under theirs, none. Our doors, side panels, and even the tailgate are double panel construction. Our cab roof is double panel steel construction with sound deadening insulation between the panels. And on this Cheyenne Super, an inner headliner to further help deaden sound. Ford has only a single panel roof with an inner headliner. The result, listen to this. First, the Ford. Now, the Chevy. Again, the Ford. The Chevy. Which roof would you rather have over your head? We also have a larger windshield, nearly 200 square inches more than Ford. Our available comfort tilt feature adjusts to individual comfort. This feature is not available on the Ford, nor is the energy absorbing steering column or the theft deterring column mounted ignition lock, which we provide on models with automatic transmissions. Ford's ignition lock is still on the dash, inconveniently located. Our instrument panel is attractive and well laid out. We have more hip room, and our floor is more nearly flat than Ford's, making it more comfortable for the passenger in the middle seat. Ford's taillight lenses are easily breakable plastic. Ours are shatter-resistant Lexan. They're really tough. When you fill the radiator on the Ford, any excess coolant runs out on the ground where it is wasted. On the Chevy, it runs into the coolant recovery tank where it is recycled and reused, an important money-saving feature. Besides, the coolant recovery tank provides an easy way to check the coolant level without removing the radiator cap. Yes, you can get a coolant recovery tank on a Ford, but it will cost extra. On a Chevy, the recovery tank is standard. Here's still another value. Our voltage regulator is integrated with the alternator for added dependability. And the side terminal battery we provide with the standard V8 engine has 61 ampere hours capacity. The top terminal battery the Ford furnishes with its standard V8 engine has only 45 ampere hours capacity. With both batteries fully charged, Let's see how long they can keep these two banks of headlights burning. The lights from the Chevrolet battery are still burning brightly. Those from the other battery are beginning to dim. As you know, the greater the battery capacity, the more dependable starting you have, especially in cold weather. After 38 minutes, the Ford battery is completely dead. But there's still power to spare in the Chevy battery. Oh yes, you can get a heavier duty battery on the Ford truck. But like the coolant recovery tank, it will cost you extra money. When it comes to models, we're also ahead. Chevy offers a step-side pickup with a six and one-half foot box and a convenient step on either side for easy loading. Ford doesn't offer a comparable model. Nor does Ford offer a dual rear wheel pickup like Chevy's tough, good handling, big dually. Just consider these Chevrolet advantages. Massive girder beam front suspension, double panel construction, higher GVWs, Bigger windshield, more hip room, aluminized muffler and tailpipe, coolant recovery tank, integral voltage regulator, 
side terminal battery with extra capacity, more models, dual rear wheel pickup, excellent resale value. With all the extra values we've shown you, is it any wonder that Chevrolet trucks traditionally bring in more on the used truck market than any others? They do, and they've earned their reputation. Only Chevrolet offers all those values in a single truck. Chevrolet, the greatest truck value on the market today. Chevrolet, still building a better way.